Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the channel if you're new here. In my previous video part 1 I went over the steps to protect the front of the van. The floor had already started rotting away where the water had been sitting there. So if you've got a similar problem where you've got a leak in the front of your van, I'd suggest you follow those steps as soon as you can in order to prevent your floor from rotting out beneath you. There should be a link to that video up here so you can check that one out. So in order to help me identify where the leaks are coming from, I'm going to give the van a good wash on the outside and then hopefully any water from washing the van should find its way in through those leaks in the front and then we'll be able to see where the water's coming in from. It's that time of year where there's lots of salt and grit on the roads so the van could do with a good wash anyway, not that I've driven it too much but it could definitely do with a wash. So I'm going to do a short time lapse video of me giving the van a wash to some music and then we can hopefully see where the leaks are coming from. I've also got a new gadget to show you guys so stay tuned for that. What I'm going to do in order to try and help identify where the leaks coming from is just put some talcum powder in the footwell here and then I'm going to wash the outside of the van and that way hopefully I'll be able to see where the water is coming in from but I've got a good idea that it's coming in from behind the strut mounts here. <laughs> see where the water's coming in from now around the back of the strut mounts up in this corner here it's coming in from the bottom of the windscreen traveling inside the engine bay down the bulkhead where this arch meets the bulkhead and the water's coming in from a gap at the back there also got water coming in from the door seal I think I'll need some new door seals because these are definitely seen better days driver's side it's pretty much the same story again it's coming in from the back of the strut mounts leaking from the bottom of the windscreen where it's rotten probably from the door seal again so here I have a new gadget it's a depth tech wireless inspection camera endoscope bore scope whatever you want to call it it's a small inspection camera and I got it for looking inside engines inside the chassis inside seals so you can inspect the condition. Let's open it up and see if it's any good. It costs around £30, so it wasn't too expensive. This is waterproof and it's Wi-Fi, so you can record it through your phone. It's a little charging lead. Here's the endoscope. Some instructions. And these are some attachments that came with it. So the actual camera it's got LEDs in the end and you can adjust the brightness from here, that's handy. It also comes with three ends, it has a magnet that can go on it, a little hook, kind of a mirror for looking around corners. If you drop something in the engine, for example, um, you can use this magnet to maybe hook it out. I know somebody that dropped an injector seal in their engine didn't realise it was in there or couldn't see it in there and they started it up so you can imagine what happened. Let's go and see what it's like. So far we know we need two new door seals. The water's coming in from the bottom of the windscreen. It's travelling down the inside of this bulkhead here 
and it's going into the cab where the arch meets the bulkhead. So I can sort that out, that shouldn't be a problem. Another place I need to check is underneath this scuttle panel. I've seen water go down the air vents previously and I'm sure it was coming out in the cab. I'm led to believe that there's a drain at the bottom of these air vents so that if water does get down there, it just drains out the bottom of the van. But I've looked underneath the van for this plug um, and I couldn't find it anywhere. I've checked behind the engine where it was supposed to be in the bulkhead but I just couldn't see anything. So maybe that drain is blocked and it's filling up inside the air vent and spilling over into the cab. That's my theory anyway. But now I've got the endoscope, I can have a look down there and see if there is this drain point. It's really quite straightforward to remove this scuttle panel. You just take the windscreen wipers off. A couple of 13 millimeter nuts on there. It's a large plastic nut. On here. As you can see, I previously covered up the air vents with silver tape because I thought it was leaking in from here. All right, let's have a look down the vents. Got it stuck down the air vents. Oh, phew, that was close. I really don't think this is a problem. Where the air actually goes into the cab is quite high up, and if any water did go down there, it'd drain right to the bottom. There's no signs of rust at the bottom of there, so I don't think water's been sitting in there. Um, and there's no debris or dirt or anything, so if there was a drain, I can't imagine it being blocked. Okay, I'm now going to flood the windscreen. That's a lot of water there. Let's have a look underneath. There's a lot of water coming down from the engine bay. <laughs> So I guess that's the drain that might get blocked. Here's another pool of water from a separate leak. And if I trace it back, it appears to be coming from down the A pillar. You can see up here, the water's running down. I'm pretty certain what's happening is water from the gutter is getting underneath where this fiberglass roof sits in the gutter. It's traveling inside, getting inside the A pillar because this is rusting from the inside out. This is something else I need to give some attention in the summertime. It's traveling inside here, down to here. We've also got water in the driver's side under here. So again, it's getting inside the A-pillar. So I've got a good idea where the water leaks are coming in from. I've got a water leak coming in from the gutter, traveling down the A-pillar into the footwell. That's the first leak. The second leak is coming in from the bottom of the windscreen where it's slightly rotten, traveling down the inside of the bulkhead, behind the strut mount, coming round into the footwell. That's the second leak. The third leak is coming in from the door seals. That should hopefully be quite a straightforward fix, just replacing the door seals, and it should sort that one out. In order to sort out the leak from the gutters, what I'm gonna do is, in the summer, when the weather gets a little bit warmer, I'm going to seal the gutter from front to back using some silicon. And then that way, if any water gets in the gutter, it should drain straight off the van rather than soaking under and down into the A-pillars. And that should stop my A-pillars from rotting so quickly from the inside out. And the third and final leak is the one from the windscreen. And that ties in quite nicely with doing the A-pillars because I'm going to have to take the windscreen out anyway to sort the A-pillar problem out. Um, they're going rotten so I'm going to try and take that out and weld in some patches on the A-pillars as well as fixing the leak from the windscreen. Again that's a job for the summer so hopefully this summer when the weather gets a bit nicer we can sort that out. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and enjoyed watching it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's completely free to subscribe and if you click that little alarm bell, you'll get notifications when I post new videos. I aim to make a new video every one to two weeks, depending on how labour intensive the video is. And they will be anything from repairs, maintenance, project related and anything I'm working on at the time. So it's very varied but it usually involves an engine. So if you're interested in engines and how they work, things like that, stay tuned. Thank you to everyone that's supporting the channel already. I've had loads of feedback on videos and I really appreciate it because it helps me learn from other people's experiences and also improve the content for you guys watching. So feel free to leave likes, dislikes, comments, however you want to approach my videos and that way I can endeavor to improve my videos for the future. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care.